My name is Richard Prido. I am a mountain leader, SAR and wilderness skills instructor, forager, hunter, angler, and a committed outdoorsman. This show is called Modern Outdoor Survival, and this short episode will tell you what to expect from this podcast. I've spent most of my adult life working with people in the mountains, under the canopy of forests, and out in rural areas. I have been in charge of the safety of hundreds of athletes on races in remote wilderness areas and been part of the team called out to assist others when it all goes wrong. I've worked behind the scenes on TV shows, films, and other media projects. I've trained the military, emergency service personnel, and first responders. I consult with brands on everything from using wild plants in skincare to risk management for wind farm engineers. We chose the name Modern Outdoor Survival carefully. I wanted to create something that hopefully counters what we come across again and again when we're working with clients of all types. That's a deep misconception about survival, outdoor safety and those useful skills in the great outdoors. You can break that title down into, well, three distinct parts. Modern, outdoor, and survival. Modern, because I want to talk about these skills in a realistic context. Primitive survival is a deep and complex subject and one worthy of study if you have the time, opportunity, and inclination. But if you break out the loincloth and flint blades at the first sign of trouble in the 21st century, then you've probably missed a few steps along the way. I want to discuss the various subjects we will cover in this show with an understanding that smartphones and electronic devices exist, modern fabrics and technical equipment is readily available, and that we have a wealth of information freely accessible online. Learning from our ancestors should be something we all strive for, but that doesn't mean that the answer to every outdoor emergency begins and ends with leather, wool, and a guy on YouTube building a house out of mud. Outdoor, because there are many, many flavours of survival. For many people, the subject is wrapped up entirely with self-defence, EDC and the Second Amendment. For others, it is about evading the enemy, hiding in a ditch and moving under the cover of darkness. I want to make it clear that we aren't going to be discussing that in this show. It doesn't mean that those other aspects of survival, preparedness and personal resilience aren't worth discussing elsewhere. It's just that my professional experience is set entirely within a world where it's the elements, landscape and natural environment that are causing potential problems, not people. Where people are creating dangerous or volatile situations, it's normally a combination of poor decisions, lack of knowledge and bad timing. I won't say it's bad luck because, well, after all, luck is nothing but the residue of preparation. And finally, survival, because it's the thing that everybody wants to hear about. Nobody wants to hear stories of when everything went to plan, you head into the mountains for two weeks and have a lovely time. No, they want to hear about the epics, those stories where somebody nearly drowned, where the rock fall swept across the narrow path, or where the brave hero is stranded alone on a desert island with nothing but a box of paper clips and three left shoes. The skills, gear and topics discussed in this show are going to be about outdoor competence, about good planning, making good decisions at the right times and developing a mindset where emergency is rare but not unprepared for. This is the introductory episode, episode zero you might call it. After this you can go and listen to episode one. New episodes will be launched every week with a different topic discussed each time. Every fourth episode will be answering questions from listeners, maybe with a few special guests and subject matter experts along for the ride, once we get ourselves established a bit. Within each of those weekly subjects, we will be examining the techniques, equipment and stories related to that subject. These are not the secret source of outdoor survival. In fact, you may be pleasantly surprised just how simple and straightforward that advice is. This show is intended for as wide an audience as possible. It isn't just aimed at hunters or hikers or climbers or mountain bikers or paddlers or any specific user group for what we call the outdoors. If you work, play or live in that great outdoors, 
then we will try to make this podcast relevant to you. And know that we already have something of an international audience with the other original outdoor media podcasts, so where possible I will try and keep things neutral and not just use UK-centric terminology. We're also going to try and keep the show family friendly, as we want this to be something that maybe you can listen to with your kids in the car. There won't be any profanity in the publicly available shows, but we will inevitably be discussing medical matters, illness, injury and death, and occasionally in some detail. I'll leave it up to you to decide if that's appropriate for whoever you're sharing this content with. If you support the show via the Original Outdoor Media Patreon, Subscribestar, or any of the other methods listed on the website, then you'll get early access to each of the shows, plus bonus content and longer episodes. Those supporters of the show will also have access to a community forum. This is a membership-only forum on the Discord platform. This is a platform that allows us to set up discussion channels for specific topics, have live interactions by voice, text, and video, and even record live shows and take questions on the air. We have some fairly ambitious plans for this community and we'll be announcing more about that later in the year. If you want to read more about the show, about me, our social media pages, or find links to any of the things I have just mentioned, then you can go along to modernoutdoorsurvival.com. And I can have a tendency to ramble on for too long, so before you go and listen to episode one, I will leave you with these principles of modern outdoor survival. Number one, make good decisions at the right time. Number two, put skills and experience ahead of shiny new equipment. Number three, remember, Instagram is not your training provider. Thank you for listening. Modern Outdoor Survival is produced and edited by Amy Green and is an original outdoor media production.